Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a house in USJ2 Subang Jaya. This house is a bit unique because it's a one and a half story. Not only that, the traditional one and a half story looks exactly like that, which has a length of 65 feet. This one has a length of 97 feet, which is very unique in Subang Jaya. Now this is a house which I'm going to show you right now. This is a one and a half story with a massive length of 97 feet which is 32 feet longer than the usual length and it has additional 12 feet of side length come and check it out now if you are new to this channel and don't know who i am my name is chester cheng and this is my real estate channel now, before we begin and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to click on to the subscribe button. And also please click on to the bell icon so you won't miss all my future uploads. As you can see, this Porsche, you can easily park 6 to 7 cars. If you are the type that have lots of cars, this will be a perfect playground for you. And if you are looking for a house for retirement, this also would be an ideal choice because in USJ, this will be the smallest type of build up you can find this is a single story with an attic so some of us will call it one half story some of them will call it a single story with attic so on the side here we have 12 feet of land if you are the type that love gardening this will be a perfect house for you so if you are retiring and looking for a house like this in Subang Jaya this will be an ideal choice not only that this is not the standard size you have ample room for you to do gardening if you are the type that love uh, some outdoor space this is very useful if you are the type that likes to have a bigger build up than the traditional one and a half story or single story in usj you have ample land to expand as compared to the traditional one and a half single story in usj where the size is really pretty much maximized now another advantage about this house is sitting about one and a half feet to two feet higher as compared to your neighbor and the road and also they have additional 15 feet of gap in between your neighbor here so you, you have a lot of privacy so as for this one and a half story as i mentioned before it's very popular among the retirees and also for those couple that are looking to have a small family this will be an ideal choice now i'm going to give you the specification for this house it has a width of 24 feet with additional side length of 12 feet it has an unusually long length of 97 feet the traditional size length is only 65 feet so you have additional 32 feet of extra length right in front of the house this house is facing directly south this is a one and a half story free whole property in usa so come in and check out the house take a look at this one and a half story as you can see this is a living hall and this is dining area uh, this living hall you can likely put the l-shaped sofa or you put a three plus two i think probably will be the maximum of size so far you can fit in the room uh, if you want to expand this area to have a bigger space, we have side land here which you can do so with 12 feet of additional land. Uh, the dining space as well, most of the owners here will put a round table, five seater round table. If you want to have a rectangle table, probably the max you can go is a six seater. Uh, now this side here, we have the bathroom and this bathroom is sharing with the master bedroom here. So the master bedroom is facing the front. Uh, this one and a half story has an attic up here which I'm going to show you shortly. Pretty much you can consider this as a single story with an attic. Now this two intermediate room is not that big. Uh, this room is the smallest one. You can fit a, a single bed or a super single. It has a Jack and Jill bathroom which sharing with this room. And this room is slightly bigger. You can fit a queen size bed and also a wardrobe. Uh, let's check out the kitchen side. Come. As you can see, this kitchen side, the owner have already extended. The original size of this kitchen is right up to this arch here. So behind me is all the extension. And they also did uh, extra extension on the side of the kitchen here. As is, this size has almost triple or quadruple the size of the original kitchen. As you can see, right at this space, they use it as a yard area. And this is a dry kitchen. And that portion will be the wet kitchen. So yeah, you have a very large kitchen. If you are the type that you would say, hey, I don't need such a big kitchen. Well, you can convert this portion to expand your uh, living area for the room, both room in fact, and then leave this part to be your kitchen. I mean the L-shaped side kitchen. Uh, because you have additional side land 
as an end lot, you can easily expand that area if you need a bigger kitchen. Come in, let's check out the master bedroom. So as you can see, the master bedroom is not that big. However, it still can fit a king size bed. Uh, this is an example of a queen size bed. They still have a nice wardrobe here and a makeup table here. Of course, this is the bathroom that is sharing with the common bathroom. Uh, the master bedroom is facing the front. Yeah, this is actually a nice, excellent size for retirees or a small family. Now let's take a tour to see the attic. Come. So as we come out from the ground floor to the attic, uh, this space is uh, relatively quite decent in size. We got all looking down to the living hall here. We got some windows on the top to brighten up the space. Now if you want to create a bathroom for this attic floor, you can actually break this wall and create a bathroom at this level because the bathroom at the lower level is a double volume. So you can create this space to be your bathroom. And if you need a bigger space for your attic, uh, you have ample room on my right here where you can break this wall and expand this space to be double the volume of the attic size. So for me personally, if you are the type that looking for single story or one and a half story, you may not want to expand any more space for this attic floor to become a proper double story because it defeats the purpose of actually looking for a small maintenance house for retiring. Now I'm going to give a brief description about the locality of USJ2. It has lots of school within close proximity. They have the primary and secondary school in USJ2, the secondary school in USJ4, they have the primary and secondary school in USJ12, and the primary school at USJ6. As for Chinese school, they have one at USJ14, which is the Tun Tan Cheng Lok, and across the Kusas Highway, there is one more at SS19, which is Lake Hung. As for shopping malls and buying groceries, you have lots of choices to choose from. At USJ19, they have Digital Mall, at USJ21, the main place, and you have three shopping malls in USJ1 itself, which is the Submit, Diamond, and Maidin. Now, across the SS Subang Jaya site, we have the Empire Shopping Gallery and the Subang Parade. And the convenience for highway accessibility, you have the Kasas Highway, the Elite Highway, and the Federal Highway. USJ2 is also close to the Taipan Business Center. Over at Taipan, you will have the local banks, your international banks, you have the fast food eateries, local groceries, and also your local favorite stalls there as well. So I hope you enjoyed the house tour video for this one and a half story end lot in USJ2 Subang Jaya. And if you want to view that property in person, do contact me. My number is right above here. I'll be happy to show you around. And don't forget to share this video to your friends and family members who are looking to retire and they want a smaller house for easy maintenance. That will be an ideal choice for them. And don't forget to watch more of my videos in Subang Jaya, USA. I will share them at this corner here. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. So I'm Chester Chang. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Uh, you're still here? And you see, since you're still here, do check out that few videos that I recommend. Cheers.